Welcome to our lab, where we take boring things and make them exciting. And where we take exciting things and make them spectacular. We've been learning a lot about diligence, but what happens when other people around you aren't really diligent? Oh, that is a very good question because you could do option one, and you could go up to them and say, you are such a lazy goat. Why aren't you doing any of your work? I'm having to do all your work and you're just sitting there eating your chips and your carrots and not doing anything. That's option one and I don't suggest doing that. Or option two, you could go up to them and say, hey, how can I help you? Let's do this together. We got this. How about we race? That's some of the options. Which which one do you think is the best one? Two. Option two, okay? That's what you can do. And that is also another thing of why you need to make sure that you don't have any laziness in your life. You want to make sure that you are doing your job well and not being lazy. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to pour some water into our bowls and then we are going to put a scoop of borax into each of our bowls. You want to stir it till it dissolves. Next you will grab these cups and you will put two scoops of glue in them. And then you will put a little bit of food coloring and then you will put a little bit of uh, glitter. And then you stir it. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, once you have it all stirred, you add it into the liquid. Then you roll it into a ball. Because we are making a bouncy balls. All right, let's test them. Okay, ready? Go. Woo! Ooh, ooh. Rina, I yeah. noticed you put something extra in yours. I put in cornstarch. And do you know what? Mine bounces too. Sometimes somebody else might be trying something different and we go, how that won't work? I don't think that, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. But then it actually works. Next time somebody else has an idea, don't just be like, no, we are not doing it. We are doing my own way. Listen to the idea. You know, no, it might be a good one. And we have some really good ideas for some games to play. I Let's go. Okay. So we're gonna play my gift to you. And you have this cup and this cup. And you have to guess which one is the nice gift, and which one is a bad gift. I think this is the bad gift. Oh, it's a good gift. Now this might be what you call a bad gift. What is it? Oh, yeah. So it's sort of like when your mom asks you to do something, you can either do the well job well done, or you can do it with a bad attitude and not finish it all the way. So if I were your mom, I'd rather you do this one than this one. Have you ever tried to do a job like loading the dishwasher or emptying it or folding your laundry or taking out the trash and you didn't really want to do it and so you kind of started but then went and did something else like played video games or called a friend or went and did something fun well it took longer to get the job done right because you went and played but then you still had to do your job when we get distracted it takes a lot longer for us to do our job so we're gonna play a super fun game that you guys can play too go on to in the gapkids.org and go into the folder and find distracted board game and you can play. So we're gonna play the jumping game. So you can take turns jumping and see how far you can all jump. It's almost like on what p things that people can do. Like a two year old, you wouldn't ask to go to Aldi's and buy you milk. But you might ask like an 18 year old to go um, to Aldi's and buy you milk. But you could ask a two-year-old to go put your shoes by the door or something because that is what they can jump and help with. So when you jump, you can mark your spot and then you can see if anyone else can jump as far as you can. 
Okay, I want you to get your friends and I want you to pass the soccer ball back and forth to each other. And then I want you all to try and kick the soccer ball backwards into a goal. Pretty easy, right? Well, try it. And then what I want you to do is after you do it, I want you to do it with a mirror. And you're gonna try and pass it to someone. Get your parents' permission and see if you can borrow mirrors. But everyone gets a mirror and everyone has to hold it in front of their face and look at themselves. A little weird, okay? But then you guys are gonna have to try and pass the soccer ball to each other while looking at yourself in the mirror. And then you're gonna try and kick the soccer ball into a goal while looking at yourself again in the mirror. And then you're gonna find out it's not easy. And that's kind of like with diligence. If we're so focused on ourselves and what it does for us and if it's fair or not for us, then we're not gonna be able to play as a team. Like. When you have to clean your room, you guys have different sections in your room that you clean. If you're like, well, I don't want to clean my section and you're all mopey and then that's not helping your sisters clean the room. Or even if you're like, fine, I'll make sure my area is clean and you just start tossing everything into everybody else's area, that creates more work for them and that doesn't help you guys work together as a team well. So we've had fun doing diligence with you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.